Welcome back to another vlog and happy festive season, aka my favorite time of the year. I have also taken two weeks of annual leave, which I have never taken this many days off consecutively. So I'm very excited because I feel like this is so needed. I'm not really doing Vlogmas, but I am hoping to post more frequently in December because I feel like I just have so much motivation to post during the festive season. I did have plans for the two weeks that I have off but the weather in Melbourne has been absolutely crazy it's meant to be summer in Australia but it has been pouring down with rain storming hailing like basically winter weather but in summer so I kind of had to rearrange my plans but you guys would have seen earlier this morning I started reading the holiday swap by Maggie Knox this is very much the parent trap but set in Christmas time so it's kind of like the princess switch I've only read chapter one so far so I can't really comment on it but I'm so excited to start off the December festive season by reading this book I've heard nothing but good things about it so I'm super excited but I thought I would start this vlog off by doing an unboxing because I recently got an Amazon package and I also ordered from a small business so I thought it would be fun to unbox that with you guys. So let's start off with unboxing the Amazon package. I am so freaking excited. Honestly Amazon packages give me life. So first thing I've got on here I've got a bunch of random things honestly but I picked up this ice tray but um these ice trays are specifically to make like round sphere ice which i just love the look of it's super random but i really wanted this because i've seen everyone use it and i also picked up something else as well which i have been eyeing for a hot minute and this is very much an adulting purchase but i picked up some tumblers i'll show you what they look like pretty much everyone has them but i really love the look of them so i decided to pick them up too these are the glass tumblers i got and of course from amazon is this even really a surprise i picked up books so i only picked up two and to be fair one of them is a present and i'm going to show you guys because i'm going to be gifting this present before this video is going up anyway so i picked up window shopping by tessa bailey which is the christmas present i actually own this book as well but i really want to buddy read this one with ali so it's gonna be one of ali's presents i really hope she likes it i really hope i like like it but the cover is really pretty and then for myself because obviously I need to pick up a book for myself I got a merry little meet cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone I love the cover of this book honestly cute book covers just get me and uh this is like a spicy rom-com christmas vibes and i am so excited she's a little bit chunky though how many pages is this like over 400 pages but i'm really excited i think this is gonna be such a fun cute read i also got another amazon package i think these are the glass straws that i picked up they are oh i'm so excited i picked up a bunch of glass straws from amazon so this is what they look like what i like about them is that they've got like little flowers and it also comes with this little cleaning tool as well so I'm very excited to use my glass straws with my new tumblers it's gonna be such a vibe i also do have this little package that i got from a small business called gabsy's beads i think that's her etsy shop she creates a cute accessories and mugs and I actually found her business through Rachel Catherine because she has purchased a few things from there and they look so cute so of course I wanted to pick something up I picked up one of her mugs and I'm so excited to see how it looks because it's giving me spring summer cottage core vibes she honestly has like so many cute mugs but I just picked up this one knowing me if I like this one I will probably pick up her other ones because I've been eyeing the strawberry one and the pink gingham one the mug actually comes wrapped in this gingham cloth which is so stunning honestly going to keep that oh my freak <gasps> stop it first of all look at how freaking stunning 
stunning this mug is little daisies the color so gorgeous and not only that she's also gifted a little puka nighttime tea which if you guys know you know how much i love my teas especially like chamomile green tea all of that i've heard such good things about the puka brand so i'm really excited to try this out i am so using this for my tea tomorrow morning because it is absolutely freaking Stunning. Oh my gosh. I love. I'm actually going to leave a link to Gabby's Etsy shop below because she has so many cute mugs and accessories and little fun bits and pieces. Definitely recommend checking out her small business. This isn't sponsored or anything. I literally bought this myself. Anyways, that was it for my little unboxing segment. Uh, today, I am hoping to actually go to the movies. I want to watch Pause of Fury, but that's on at 12.45 and it's like 10 a.m now so i don't know if i'll be able to make it in time but hopefully fingers crossed we'll be going to go watch pause of fury i also want to do a little bit more christmas shopping i have pretty much got everything but i need to pick up some more tinsel and i also want to pick up some snowflake ornaments also need to pop into aldi and pick up some things for my cheese board because i'm doing a little charcuterie board thing um this weekend or i guess next weekend but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i want to go get changed and then we'll head out feel-good family movie so that was super fun and then i did some grocery shopping and i also went into kmart <laughs> as i do are oh, you in surprise it's not a Marion vlog if you haven't gone into kmart at least once so i thought i would do a little haul and show you guys what i picked up so first up i have a whole bag full of salami that i'm going to be using for a charcuterie board that i'm going to be making i also picked up these wafer crackers some almond milk cream cheese hot dog rolls two cans of tuna some olives okay first of all i don't know if you can see in this little container they are red and green olives i have never seen this combination before like how fun is this it's literally christmas vibes so i had to pick it up for my cheese board i also found these really cute chocolate dipped biscuits and they're in a gingerbread shape so i picked these ones up as well some laundry detergent these rosemary and sea salt crackers canola oil spray pesto sauce because i'm planning on making a pesto pasta sometime hopefully this week obviously had to pick up some cheese for the charcuterie board so i picked up some camembert and brie cheese these are my two go-to's whenever i make charcuterie boards also of course had to get some dips so for dips i have chosen just a basic hummus can never go wrong with this and i also got some beetroot hummus as well i also got some mediterranean olives as well thickened cream which i will also be using for the pesto pasta that was pretty much all the grocery related items i picked up but as i said i also went into kmart and target so i thought i'd show you guys what i picked up from there so i picked up an extra pack of tinsel so i'm basically using tinsel and wrapping it around my staircase railing but i ran out so i had to go and pick these up got this one from target for three dollars love it this color is literally stunning and then from from Kmart, I picked up some Christmas decorations, of course. So I picked up two packs of these flower silver clips that you just basically clip on. I'm gonna be clipping these onto my tinsel. So I got two of these packs and I also picked up a butterfly silver clips as well. These Christmas napkins. Last but not least from Kmart, I picked up four of these gold snowflakes, which I have actually put on the tree already. I wanted a few more to like fill up the tree because they're absolutely stunning. So that is everything I picked up while I was grocery shopping and also while I went to Kmart and Target. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. No
walking down old staircase Repeating pictures at ease another shopping day to be fair i'm only mainly going because i am going to pick up my nintendo switch which i am so freaking excited for i'm getting the oled white model i've been kind of on the fence about getting a switch but i just really want one so i'm going to go get one do a little unboxing once i get home lazy sunday mornings hiding under covers i don't mind staying in with you Play a favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you I just realized that I never updated you once throughout the day, but I was pretty much out the whole day. That is why. But it is now, I think like 8 p.m. I'm at home. I've got my Christmas tree lights on. It's such a crazy vibe. Today, even though it was spent out at the shops, I didn't really do any shopping per se. I was planning on getting my Nintendo Switch, but they didn't have any in stock. So we had to order it in. So hopefully we'll be getting that sometime this week or next week. If I get it this week, I'll definitely unbox it on camera let me know if you have any switch game recommendations because i definitely need some i really want to get animal crossing and disney dreamlight valley but leave any other game recommendations that you think i would like i love anything that's like cozy vibes like cozy games so if you know of any definitely comment them down below it's now 8 p.m i am gonna have a shower get into my comfy pjs make myself a cup of tea and just sit in front of my christmas tree and continue binging strange things i think i'm up to like episode four now and literally love this show it makes me so sad that we're gonna have to wait ages for season five because i just want season five right now like it's such a good freaking show tomorrow is a very chill but productive day i don't have anything planned but i want to finish decorating for christmas i don't really have anything crazy to do all i need to do is like change out my dining table setup add on my new throw blanket and also just clean in the sense of like vacuuming and mopping that's all i really need to do i say that's all but it's actually probably going to take me a while because i procrastinate so that is tomorrow's plans at the moment Today is cleaning day, my favorite day of the week. Nothing too crazy though. I just need to vacuum, organize, tidy things up. Basically like a little spring clean prep for Christmas sort of thing. I think I mentioned yesterday, but I bought a table runner for my dining table for Christmas. So I'm excited to pop that one on my dining table, change up the setup. So yeah, today's gonna be spent cleaning. And then I'm also going out for dinner tonight as well. So I'm gonna do like a little probably like a little cleaning time lapse or try to do one.
just finished cleaning and I'm currently in bed doing some editing before I have to go out for dinner with my family. We are going to this like all you can eat international buffet and I am so freaking excited for it. It's going to be so fun. So that is my plans for tonight. So it's currently 3 p.m. So I'm just going to chill in bed, do some editing before I have to get ready to go. But I thought I would just come on here and give you an update. Honestly, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm so glad that all the cleaning is done now. Like nothing beats the feeling of having a clean home. So that is such a vibe. Now I can just chill out, do editing, and then treat myself to an all-you-can-eat buffet tonight. So it's gonna be heaps of fun. And I will, of course, take you guys along with me. I honestly have no idea what food they're gonna be having, um, but I'm excited. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Eventually. I am now all ready for our dinner. So I'm wearing this purple dress. It's my first time wearing it. It's actually from Kmart, which we love. And I'm also wearing these shoes. Don't mind the fact that I haven't actually put them on properly yet, but these are the shoes I'm wearing. I'm about to head out for dinner and I just thought I'd show you guys my OOTD. But I'll see you guys at dinner. I'll show you guys like the food and stuff because I have no idea what food they have, all I know is that it's an all-you-can-eat buffet and I'm so keen for that. Guys, look what came! My Nintendo Switch from Harvey Norman is here and I thought I would do a little unboxing. I also picked up a game so once I unbox the Switch I will show you guys what game I got. They didn't really have that many options but there was one that I wanted to get for pure nostalgia. I got the Nintendo Switch OLED model in white. So this is the box that it came in. I got it for 478 Australian dollars which is so good because I think retail price is like 540 but I got it when they had the sales on so excited i've just unboxed it and so this is what the box looks like so it looks like we've got the controllers and then the actual switch over here this is giving me nintendo ds vibes and i'm living for it because that was my entire childhood so i'm like so excited this this is actually the switch and then we've got the controllers which are white let's hope we don't get these dirty oh my gosh i'm so excited and then we also get the actual switch dock so you can actually play on tv mode which is probably what i'm going to be using the most specifically for the game that i bought but it's really cool what i love about the switch is that you obviously got your handheld mode and the actual tv mode so you get the best of both worlds so i'm super excited for that so this is what the dock looks like you basically just slide in the switch to play on your tv and we've also got this which you can just pop your controllers in i guess this is for when you're playing on your tv we've also got a bunch of wires so we've got to figure out how we do that so i guess this is for like the charger and the connection port to the tv mode i love that with the box you actually get pretty much like you know a set of controllers the dock you don't have to get everything separately so i do appreciate that but yeah i got the oled model and oh great there's instructions here so yeah, we'll plug it in and see how it works. So the game I chose was Nintendo Switch Sports because it reminded me of the Wii Sports that I was obsessed with playing when I was younger. It is basically that, but obviously for the Switch. So we've got volleyball, badminton, bowling, soccer, chambara, and tennis. Hard to have to go and set the bar so high. It's 2020 when nobody starts a cross and right. And we can blame it on the guys who are talking in the skies. The body of a prince, but the heart of a sim. I need someone who's gonna love me through my good, bad, and ugly more than I. 
It is actually a lot later now. It's like 8 p.m. I don't think I vlogged anything after brunch because honestly, I didn't really get to doing much after brunch. It was just running errands the whole time. So it wasn't really anything interesting that I wanted to pick up the camera to vlog. Plus it was quite busy, but brunch was absolutely amazing. I got my lobster chili folded eggs, which is my go-to. It is the best thing ever. Like I wish I could eat that for breakfast every day because it is truly fantastic. I am now home. I'm in my Christmas PJs, of course. I'm all crazy and comfy, but I have also set up my Nintendo Switch, which is really exciting. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So I managed to hook up the dock to my TV. So it's really cool because while the switch is on the dock it actually charges as well which is really great so it won't like die mid-game when it's connected to the tv which is cool so i wanted to show you guys um the switch before i test it out and play this is my beautiful nintendo switch let me just move this over i'm so happy that i went with the white oled model because i feel like because i'm gonna probably be using it mostly on the tv it matches my decor i know it really doesn't matter, but like I love that it actually goes with the decor pieces in my home. So it just kind of just blends in. So I've currently got my Nintendo Switch in there. It was actually super easy to set up. So I'm really excited to be using my Switch. I think I might actually test the Switch tonight because I feel like that is the perfect way to end the day and it'll be so much fun. So I might film some footage of me playing the Switch. Cool. It's time to leave the scent behind. It's so cool on the TV. It's me. A stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. That's Merlin. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm actually starting a brand new vlog tomorrow, like a spend the day in the city with me type of vlog. So you will be able to see that probably in the next couple of weeks. So give this vlog a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every week and follow me on my social medias. I'll have everything linked down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.